everybody. It's Bart Patterson with Remax Classic. I'm uh, part of the technology committee and I'm part of GMAR and I'm going to be working on our next series of the video processes um, talking a little bit about posting video to Facebook. So I'm working and sitting in my office today uh, just to set you up and tell you a little bit of what kind of equipment I've got here. I've got a Dell laptop that I'm using with an internal webcam. I do have an external microphone on it just so I make sure that I have enough uh, sound volume for you. I also have an external light that's uh, giving me some nice contrasts and backgrounds and things of that nature. So uh, that's the most important part there. The next piece of uh, hardware or software that I'm using is a program called Snagit. It's made by TechSmith. Uh, I've used this program for a while and I think it's a great little program. It allows me to control the internal webcam which you're looking at right now and then with just a simple switch of a button over here it allows me to switch to my desktop and capture the video while I continue to record the audio and so forth over top of that. So as I mentioned earlier we're going to be talking about Facebook and we're going to be showing you posting to your Facebook page Again, everyone should have a Facebook page set up. The next important part is to make sure that it is a business page. Uh, not good to post all of your business on your personal page. Facebook is now starting to frown on that. So you definitely need to set that up and be a little bit different. I have already recorded a little video segment previously that I'm going to just natively copy directly into my post that I'm creating here. So the video that I created was a little bit about uh, keeping cash flowing after retirement and potentially moving out of your home maybe into assisted living or something like that and using the property as a cash flow item as well as a good tax deduction that you may have uh, later on in life. And again, we're going to just post this. So I've put a little caption in here. Have you ever wondered uh, if you'll have enough uh, cash flow as you get older? Many people own their home outright and think it's best to sell it um, and take the lump sum. There are some possibly better options to keep the cash flowing that may even return a higher yield uh, down the road. So I'm going to just type in down the road and finish that up. And then I'm going to actually post my video. So right below it, you'll see where it says photo and video. If I click on this, it asks me to upload that photo and video. And I'm going to make sure that I go and find it. And I actually recorded it on my desktop. So it's going to be right here on my desktop. Here it is, the SRES video. And I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. And again, it's going to describe the video. So I'm going to put cash flow uh, from the uh, rental of a private home can continue uh, to pay dividends. We're going to talk about the video uploader. It's access to this tools. You'll have all these tools available um, for you in the process uh, to be able to do that. It shows you the thumbnail. There are some options over here on the side about distribution for these and um, how you would go through and changing that. Again, you can put uh, different types of tags in here and things that people might use to discover this. So uh, cash flow might be one of those options. Um, you might want to put in here, um, let's say, uh, just even home sales. Uh, retirement uh, living and just retirement and we'll go from there now you can see also that up here in the corner my video has now been uploaded so it's ready to go and these kinds of tags would be a part of this um, let's put in dividends in here and let's just go ahead and publish this at this per time. We're going to hit publish now. Oh, it's missing a title. Obviously, I needed to put that in and I forgot. I gave it a description, but not the title. So I'm just going to quickly jump in here and put in um, cash flow and bigger dividends from retirement. 
and now we will say publish and publish now. It's going to take just a second here to go through that process. It says that it's being uh, processed in the video and when it's finished it will be actually posted directly on my site. And I'm sure when you've looked over pages you've gone over videos in Facebook and you've clicked on them or as you go over them they start to play. That's really important because when you actually put them in this way natively that's what happens when you actually connect it from a link let's say from your YouTube account or something like that that doesn't always work that way so um, those would be important things to kind of keep in mind okay and in just a minute here this will upload and we should be all set I should be able to say share now and as you can see the video is down here where it's going to come in and as soon as it's all posted in here in one place um, it will come up and this will be a live active post. Next thing we're going to talk about is actually doing Facebook Live and I'm going to move to a new location for that. Thanks! Hey everybody it's Bart Patterson again with our video uh, segment. This is the second portion of the Facebook where we actually talk about Facebook Live. Again this is the easiest one to set up. Uh, the equipment that you're going to be using here, nine times out of ten, will be your Facebook uh, or your, excuse me, your cell phone and your camera on that, and you're going live in some scenario. What I did in this particular video, which I've already recorded, uh, went out about five minutes ago and recorded it, was I grabbed some information from Rocomp talking about statistics, what the sales were this past month in comparison to a year ago, uh, what maybe the average days on market were, sales price um, averages, those kinds of things. And uh, just shot it in front of my office. Something very easy that I can do on a monthly basis, post out to my Facebook site, live video as to what's going on, and kind of keep people updated on the process. The equipment I used, my cell phone with a little handheld camera because I wanted to make sure I have a good grip on it. Otherwise, it jostles around and everything, and I unfortunately sometimes get my fingers stuck in the way too. So with the handle down below, this is really nice. So I would consider it like a little selfie stick if you would. Uh, works out really perfect. And then obviously, you're just logging into your Facebook page. So I'm going to click over here to my site and show you again on Facebook. I'm in where I'm going to create a post on my business page and instead of actually creating and using a, st uh, a stored video at this particular point, I'm going to go to the live event. Once I do the live, it will actually let me um, put a, a description to it as well as a title to that video and then post the video and it once I hit the button to start recording, it will give me a little countdown and then I am live. If anybody's watching during that time period, they can heart you and give you all the emotions and things like that, which is awesome. And sometimes, even to stir interest, you might want to post to your um, site, Hey, Bart's giving his September update uh, on Canton Sales um, at 2 o'clock today. So that way, then at 2 o'clock, when you go out and you do this, people will be prepared and they'll be ready to watch that live event happening. So if you're attending something or need to be a participant in it, uh, again, posting something pre-live, and that way then people have an option for it. If I scroll down just a little bit, you should be able to see the video that I recorded down here just a couple minutes ago. And if I, of course, click on this, it would then play that video for me um, during the process. So it didn't have to be anything special. This is really, uh, uh, you know, easy to do. It can be on the go and uh, it comes directly from my cell phone. I don't need any other special equipment here. I use natural sunlight, my cell phone, and a little selfie stick. The only thing else I was careful about was not getting hit by cars <laughs> in the parking lot. If you have any other questions, I hope that GMAR can help you and I hope this video series has been uh, helpful along the way. We look forward to providing more information for you. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.